the next session on know how series this video is about the implementation of a master slave positive edge triggered register in general registers are edge triggered memory elements the input is sampled only on a clock edge if sampling is done at the rising edge of the clock which means from 0 to 1 transition it is called as a positive edge triggered register if the sampling is done at the falling edge which means from 1 to 0 transition of the clock it is a negative edge triggered register registers are typically constructed using latches and we have seen previous video about implementing static latches which means both positive and negative latch using multiplexers and using transmission gate the video link is given in the description box below and here we will see one most common approach for constructing an edge triggered static register which is the master slave configuration so it is basically constructed by cascading a positive and a negative latch this is the typical implementation of a positive edge triggered register based on a master slave configuration the register is built by cascading a negative latch as the master with a positive latch as the slave the behavior is different for different phases of the clock first let us start discussing what happens when clock is equal to 0 and i will tell you the reason why we have kept the slave with respect to a positive latch and why the master is designed with a negative latch to implement a positive edge triggered register now to start with let us set clock equal to 0 when clock equal to 0 in the master stage the input 0 of the multiplexer is selected and the d input is passed to the output of the master stage which is denoted by qm during this period what will happen the master will be in its transparent mode because input d is copied to the output qm now we have the slave stage which is implemented using a positive latch and when clock is zero and a positive latch the input zero of the multiplexer is selected and at this time when clock signal is low the input data is held stable at the output for the entire period so then the slave stage is said to be in hold mode so this we can observe in the timing diagram also so when clock goes low what happens when clock goes low the master stage output qm is going to be the same as your input data so you can see here when clock is low the input data is exactly copy to the qm output and at the same time when clock is low for the slave stage the output final output q is going to be stable for the entire duration of the clock signal now let us set clock equal to 1 so now what happens the slave stage will try to sample the output of the master stage because when clock equal to 1 this master stage will be in hold mode because this is a negative latch and here in the slave stage which is a positive latch when clock is equal to 1 the slave stage samples the output of the master stage qm while the master stage is in a hold mode we can observe the same thing in the timing diagram also when clock is high you can see that the output of qm is going to be held stable for the entire duration of the clock signal and at the same time the slave stage is going to copy the output of qm to q so you can see here the output of qm is given as input here and when clock is 1 the input 1 of the multiplexer is selected and qm is copied to q so this is the final output of the positive edge triggered register based on a master slave configuration using multiplexers the reason why we have the slave as a positive latch is we are going to implement a positive edge triggered register and the final output of the positive edge triggered register is this q where this q is obtained from the slave output okay so obviously the slave has to be a positive latch implementation for getting the output q in terms of a positive edge triggered register using the same principle a negative edge triggered register can also be constructed the only difference is going to be you need to switch the order of positive and negative latch that means your master should be a positive latch and your slave should be a negative latch the detailed discussion points of positive edge triggered register based on a master slave configuration using multiplexers is given here now similarly 
using the same positive edge triggered register concept on a master slave configuration we will try to implement that using transmission gate the concept of positive edge triggered register based on a master slave configuration is going to remain the same the only difference between the previous implementation and this one is going to be the usage of transmission gates instead of multiplexes now let us set clock equal to 0 and clock bar becomes 1 clock is fed here you can see here this clock signal is fed to the p mos of t1 and clock bar is fed to the n mos of t1 the transmission gate t2 has exactly the opposite control signals as of t1 so now when clock is 0 and which is fed to p mos of t1 and clock bar equal to 1 which is fed to n mos of t1 t1 turns on and since T2 has completely opposite control signals. T2 is going to be in off state. So this behaves like a master latch. When T1 turns on, the input D is sampled to the node QM. So you can see here, the input is going to travel through this transmission gate T1, and it will propagate to reach to the node QM. So when it reaches QM, uh, by bypassing all these buffers. the same d input will be copied to qm when clock is zero and d is copied to qm this master stage behaves like a negative latch similarly let us see what happens for a positive latch when clock is zero and here also you can see that when clock is zero here this clock zero signal is fed to p mos of t4 and clock equal to 1 is fed to n mos of t4 so therefore t4 turns on in the slave stage and t3 turns off in the slave stage when t4 turns on obviously it is very clear that the input data is going to remain stable at the output for the entire duration of the clock signal and hence we can conclude that the slave stage which is implemented using a positive latch is going to be in hold mode now we will revert back our discussion with clock equal to 1 so when clock equal to 1 we can see that t2 turns on and t1 is going to be in off state so the master stage will stop sampling the input instead it will go into a hold mode to retain the output to be stable and here when we see that in the slave stage for a positive latch implementation and when clock becomes 1 we have t3 to be turned on and t4 is going to be in off state so obviously here it is very clear that the qm output is going to be sampled or it is going to be copied to the output q this concludes the transmission gate implementation of the same master slave positive edge triggered register function of the master slave positive edge triggered register using transmission gate is given here the video on the implementation of a positive latch using transmission gate is given in the description box below kindly refer to that and try to implement a negative latch using transmission gate and then you can use that particular concept to implement the same of master slave configuration for a negative edge triggered register just by switching over the preferences of master stage to be implemented with a positive latch and slave stage to be implemented with a negative latch thank you all for watching this video through electronics insight channel